This Draw My Life is a fictional story based on the true life of a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. In 1999, I first came to California, a new kind of car that used old technology, fuel cells and hydrogen, to make electricity. I was like a newborn baby and needed a lot of care and attention from my engineers. My engineers would take me out on West Sacramento streets to see how I behaved and collect data. As I got a little older, my engineers would let other people drive me in circles around and around CFCP's back parking lot. It did make me a little dizzy. Pretty soon, we were out of the parking lot and gave test drives on the streets and freeways. People were always excited to see me drive by because I was super special and cool. My drivers used words like smooth, quiet, and powerful. Mostly, they'd just say, wow. They love that I'm electric and emit only water. When I zip by other cars, I'd say, drink my exhaust, buddy. I thought I was grown up and ready to go home with one of the drivers, but I was just a teenager. I had my awkward moments and occasionally had a walk of shame coming back to the office on a tow truck. Not everyone loved me, though. At outreach events, some people called me names like Fool Cell or acted like I was trying to be the only type of alternative fuel car. Some compared my teenage growing pains to grown-up gas vehicles. Some said I was not as good as my cousin's battery electric vehicles. The jokes and name-calling made me sad. I wanted to hide and finish my development in private, but then the haters would have called me a failure. It was time for a party. Along with a bunch of other fuel cell electric vehicles, we drove across the United States not once, but twice, to let tens of thousands of people see just how close to being ready we were. People were always glad to see us. In one place, people greeted us like we were a parade. They stood in the fog in Maine, the humidity in South Carolina, the mud in Missouri, a storm in New Mexico, and roasting heat in Arizona for a chance to drive us. Across the country twice, the only mishap was a flat tire in Virginia, and we got lost. A lot. Back home in California, I started going to emergency responder training so firefighters would know that I'm as safe as other cars. It was kind of weird at first. I'm not used to people looking for my safety sensors. When the firefighters test drove me, I tried to make siren noises. I'm just so quiet, though. No one heard me. At outreach events, people started calling me the other EV instead of names and inviting me to come to the battery electric vehicle clubs, where drivers are passionate about reducing air pollution and global warming. They recognize that all zero emission vehicles are important and that I share many parts and components with my battery electric vehicle cousins. The big moment came when I was leased to my permanent driver. No more sleeping in the shop with the other fuel cell electric vehicles. Now I have my own garage. My driver uses me as her normal, everyday car. We go to the store, pick up the kids from soccer, commute to work, and even take vacations. Yesterday on the way to the grocery store, we passed a fuel cell bus, which was pretty cool. I heard that the store uses fuel cells to make electricity and to run their forklifts. So fuel cells are everywhere. People ask my driver questions about safety, range, speed, and refill time, and she answered that I'm pretty similar to her old gas-powered car. But... I have an HOV sticker that her old car can't get. The last question people asked was, where can I get a fuel cell electric vehicle? We also stop for fuel, which is something we don't need to do often because I can go really far on a tank of fuel. I love the station though. It took only a few minutes to put high pressure hydrogen in my tank, just enough time for my driver to clean my windshield. Murphy's Law though, a bird pooped on the windshield just as we pulled away from the station. I don't want to hide anymore. It's cool to be a fuel cell vehicle. People give me the thumbs up when I zip past them in the HOV lane and say great things to my driver when we park. Every day I see more fuel cell electric vehicles on the road and I know more are coming. My station location software shows that more hydrogen stations are being built too. I'm part of a big change that will reduce pollution, greenhouse gases, and oil use. I'm part of a bigger picture that includes other alternative fuels, public transit, and ideas like bike sharing and walkable communities. Together, we can change the world.